So I think it was last video I mentioned how this is just turning into me fixing all of our broken tractors. <sighs> the race tractor is broken again. I We're gonna take a look at it today, but it might be the end of the race tractor. I hope not, because I've actually really enjoyed that tractor. It sure has Hudson and Holly. <sighs> but let's go take a look at it. I'll show you what's wrong with it now. Let me grab a battery so I can show you what's wrong. So I'd be lying if I had said this tractor hasn't been a lot of fun. It really has. I have loved it. Hudson has loved it. Holly has loved it, but let me plug this in. But I guess when you have a race tractor and you have too much fun. So first off, we broke the wheelie bar. Uh, I thought it was built pretty good, but evidently not. So we lost a wheel there. And then next up. That's right. It's just the one tire fire. Only that tire spins, which is not good when you're doing a race tractor. So this doesn't seem like our normal quick fix because when I press this, notice how this one, the red spins, that's what moves the entire tire. And on this one, nothing. So that means internally where the plastic is, is what's broken. We're gonna take this off, take the tire off, take this off and see what's going on on the inside here. But this is plastic. There's not really much I can do about plastic. So we're gonna take it apart, see what we can do, but it's not looking good. So one thing I will say about this tractor though is it was halfway in the trash can before we made it a race tractor. So what we've gotten out of it has kind of just been a bonus because I was planning on throwing it away after it got ran over by the front end loader. So we've made it this far and I don't really want to give up yet. So let's see, I got these things, these pliers. I'm gonna take this off, see what it looks like, but it's not, I don't think it's gonna be good. It might be, uh, might be the end of the cool bad boy, which is gonna make the kids upset because they've loved it. Come on, tire. Come off, come off. Ah. So I think things for the race tractor just went from bad to worse. Uh, let me show you. So when we put these on, there's a little metal rod that comes all the way through out to the edge because all this is plastic. The only way I could get it on was by welding the wheel on, which means I cannot get this wheel off to check out what is wrong with the inside. So I could get the torch and make a mess and cut it off, probably mess up the bearing. It's gonna make a huge mess. And is that worth it because it's plastic on the inside anyways and the chance of me fixing that is probably about zero. So I don't think it's worth it. We're just gonna have to keep the one tire fire for now. I don't know, unless you guys got something any different, but I, for now, I just don't think it's worth messing with. We'll run it until it dies and then once that tire breaks or it doesn't work anymore, we'll go from there. It's still fast. It's still probably the fastest kids tractor like this out there. It's just it only has one tire now and it's only gonna have one tire. If that one breaks, then we'll do something. Maybe we'll tear all this apart and maybe add like huge bike tires. That's actually something I've been wanting to do. So we'll see, we're gonna leave it like this for now. I wanted to tear into it, but for now, we just got one tire. Not the one that's moving, but that one. So we currently have three kids tractors. The race tractor, which is about to, I'm about to be the end of the race tractor. So we have the race tractor, we have the one with the front end loader, and we have the one with the dualies. We also have one, I think actually we have two, in a box ready to build. Do y'all want me to see me build one and like kind of like a tutorial on how to build it? I can, it's not hard. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me build one. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna put the fast uh, little adapter we put in there. I might even put dualies on it. Uh, we'll see what I want to do with that tractor. But for now, we have enough kids tractors to keep us going for a little while. We are pretty hard on them, so I'm sure they will break soon. Um, and speaking of all that stuff breaking, it is about to be time for us to start hay season. We've been working on our cutters. We're working on the square bellows right now. I'll go show you those here in a second. So we're excited. This is gonna be the first field that we cut. It's gonna be super windy because as I always say, the wind just never stops. I don't know why. So right here behind me is one of our Tifton fields. This will be the first field we cut here probably in about three or four days. Has a small chance of rain, but after we don't get the rain, we'll cut it. Um, your first cutting is always kind of junky. It's never your best hay. It's always usually your worst hay because you're just starting to get all the weeds out, get the hay growing good. You got some of last year's like old dead grass that you gotta get rid of. So it's never the best, but we're about to get started on this. We're gonna use Hudson's uh, kids mower to mow some of this for us. We'll be having fun doing that. We're gonna use our real mower and something soon coming on Hudson's playground. I'm gonna start having Hudson, me and Hudson, maybe like some of our extra videos we're gonna do. Uh, I reached out to some of you guys and you said you wanted more videos on Hudson's playground. So what I'm gonna do is I'll have me and Hudson, I'm gonna mainly let Hudson kind of explain all of the equipment and stuff we do, kind of like explain to your kids like how our hay cutters work, how our rakes work, balers, and kind of have a little extra videos on Hudson Playground of us and Hudson showing like a kid's version of how we do everything. 
like kind of explaining the tractors and equipment. And I think it'll be a ton of fun doing all that stuff. We'll be going to other people's farms, seeing how they do watermelons, seeing how they do corn, cotton, all sorts of that stuff. I think it'll be great as a fun way for kids to learn about agriculture and farming and all this stuff. So I'm excited about doing all that. It'll be a fun way for me and Hudson to have like more videos on the Hudson's Playground channel of us just playing in the mud and our toys. And of course, all that is still fun, but I think it's good for us also to have a fun way of teaching other kids about farming. So I'm excited about all that stuff and more stuff coming. Hold on, lawnmowers. So I'm not looking for a zero turn lawnmower or anything like that. Kind of what I'm looking for is an old school mower. I'm gonna convert it to look like Hudson's tractor now. So as a lot of you know, Hudson is getting a little big. So we're looking to upgrade our little kid's tractor into like a lawnmower. And I'm excited to do that. I think it's gonna be a ton of fun and something we're gonna do soon-ish. I'm not in any rush with us upgrading the batteries and stuff to the kid's tractors. He's perfectly fine with the tractor he has now. We suppose probably got at least a year or two of him being fine on that, but it is something that I am kind of looking out for. I think they have some old school tractors. I think it's like a John Deere 100 or 110. It's real old school looking, but I can make it look a lot like the kids tractors that they use now. And with doing that, we can do so much more things. I mean, so much more things. We can put bigger tires on them. They can pull actual little plows. We can make actual hay cutters, rakes. We can even do balers. Cause once we start doing that and it's got a real engine and then it doesn't rely on just a little electric engine that always overheats and it has little batteries and all these little things. I mean, the possibilities literally are endless for what we can do with a lawnmower style. So I'm extremely excited about that. I've been looking, trying to find a good fit for us. One that's in a decent condition, maybe has flat tires or whatever. And we can, uh, you know, throw bigger tires on it. We're gonna make it fun, don't worry. So I'm excited about all that. If there's one thing that me and Hudson and Holly are good at, it's about having fun on the farm. So trust me, a lot of people ask, what are we gonna do when you all start getting older? Trust me, we're gonna have tons of fun. I'm not worried about it and you shouldn't either. So keep watching us, keep subscribing and all these things. But we're not done yet, just hold on. So we're getting the balers ready. We've already got the hay cutter ready. So this is what we've been working on today. That's probably why you won't see me building anything today. We're getting these bad boys ready. We got them greased up, cleaned out. What Carlos is doing to our second one. So we got the grease ready to go. We got it cleaned out. So we've even been looking to try and upgrade like tractors and equipment. It's just not the time. We've been to an auction and you're trying to buy one of these 4450s for like 35,000 and they're selling for like 55, 60 sometimes. It's like double what we've gotten almost every tractor here for. So it's just not the time. We're gonna have to just be a few tractors short. We have enough tractors, but can you really ever have enough tractors also? So we're trying to get more. I think we have enough 4020s. It's the big ones like the 4450s, 55s, 4440s. We're always in the need of those. And I think the prices of those are kind of elevated because people can't get new tractors because it's just impossible to get anything right now. So I think it's kind of raising the price of everything older too. And they're just, I think people maybe are also starting to realize that they're just so much easier to work on. You don't need a John Deere mechanic with a computer and a laptop and a wiring harness and all these things. It's typically mechanical when something breaks, which is nice because you can just fix it yourself. So we're gearing up for hay season. As you see behind me, we still have a few square bells left, which will probably sell fast. And I think the first cutting, we're probably just gonna round build everything because it's junk hay. So that's probably why I haven't really gotten around to building stuff. So I don't wanna say the next video will be a project of us building the rake, but I will say also, it's gonna be a project. I need to get started on the projects. We've taken a little break. It's been like three or four weeks since I think I've made the last project. I've been working a lot on the race tractor, which has been kind of time consuming and getting ready for hay and all these other things. But next video, it will be a project, probably the rake, but if not, it'll be something else, but it will be a project. I love making the projects and I know you guys love them too. So they'll come back soon. Give the video a thumbs up, please. Subscribe to the channel, comments down below or our Instagram is also in the description for any advice or Recommendations for this channel, Hudson's Playground, what should I build? Anything, anything? Thanks for watching.